friends today in this training demo we are going to learn about move file activity so I am taking three different scenarios the first one is move one file from source to destination and the second scenario move multiple files okay you have, you have got multiple files inside a folder and you like to move them from source file to a destination folder and the third one uh, the user will tell you which file I want to move right uh, that is kind of an exercise and how do you do that using move file so there are a lot of things to learn please continue the video hello friends this is Rakesh I upload UiPath training videos daily welcome to Expo Hub where experts meet if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe now and hit on the like button while you go let's get started okay so remember the first scenario is move one file okay so let's get started so let me delete all of this and we can cover it again so the very first thing is I have to use the move file okay there's an activity called move file so let's learn and then we will get into advanced topics okay so this is the move file activity and this is quite simple one is, is asking you from um, the source what is the source and what is the destination okay for that so this is my source file so there are two different folders here source and destination destination is currently blank okay there is one file let me control x and put it in the source it's already there okay so let me delete the destination so this is currently I will keep this as completely blank all right now what I want is the source file right this is the file I want to move which is test file one so all you do is double click here and then type test file one dot xlx right this is the path so all you do is select this Okay, it got to open the file, but that is not my purpose. I need to select the file. Okay, let me copy this. Go back here and let me. And this is a string, okay? So remember to put a double quote before you paste it. So here I want to say test file one dot excel sx so that is the file so there are three different files one is a word document excel file and the pdf document so this file if you see the properties there's a test file one and dot excel sx right so you need to know the exact file name okay so to start with this is the file path i'm mentioning and where is the destination i want to move it let me mention that too again you can use this one or else the best option would be you go to the folder where you want to move and copy that path this is a simple way and always remember to place a double quote all right so this way the error is gone so if there is already a file available overwrite is another option which has come in the new version which you can utilize okay so let me quickly run it now and show you what is happening so right now I'll be in the source file and this is the file I want to move okay and uh, let me run it <clears throat> okay now if I go back you can see the test one file has moved from the source if I go back to the destination I should have the file okay so this is very simple right now uh, I want to move all the files so how do you do that yes you are right so all we have to do is we need to utilize the for each loop okay so let's do that how to get all the files so the very first activity that you will be using is assign activity because I need to know which is the path right so here what I will do in the values you write an expression so there is an expression called directory dot get files okay if you see get files here in the bracket inside the bracket put the from where it should get the files so it should be in the source right so copy this entire thing and there are multiple files so I'm not specifying any single file guys I'm saying whatever files are there inside that you should move it 
so i am utilizing the entire path of the source folder okay now here i will create a variable control k and i will say file path okay so this is the variable i am using file path now when i am using a variable file path control k file okay i think the file path variable is already there i have already created now remember file path because there are multiple files it has to be an array it cannot be a string right it has to be an array so it will collect all the files that is already there so if you see it here file path is a array of t so all you have to do is go to array of t and select string type done so all the files will be collected over here let me show you let me show you what exactly this does and if i mention file path dot to string okay and i want i don't want this to run so you can disable by control d so this will not run okay so only this two would run so let's understand that okay what the file path will do okay so i'm not able to see that but again uh, what exactly it's doing is it's going to collect the exact path okay the path of uh, the directory uh, and what are the files inside that okay so let me show you in a different way okay let me remove this and what i will be using is a so message box is not an answer correct so i have to use something called what you have guessed earlier for each loop okay now in for each loop i have to mention file paths is that clear so what will happen one by one is going to you know put that value into item and i can see that now so here i have to make the type argument string remember many people will not be able to run it because they have not changed the type argument this is one of the thing to remember now if i put a message box will it work yes so let me show you that if i put it here and simply say item dot to string okay so that time if you run it you will be able to see that so you can see that the first file name has come second file name has come and the third file name has come right dot pdf so all the files are coming through the for each loop okay if i have to delete it now very simple what you will do i'll remove the message box i'll copy this and inside the body inside the for each loop i am going to paste it here okay so now instead of providing a single file in the earlier example i will simply mention item because item will collect one one file and i can delete that from the and move it to the destination right so let me run it again so let me show you currently we have got only two files okay that's fine right we want to move these two files to that so how do you how do you do that so let me run it okay now if you go back the source file is completely blank and in the destination you have all the files okay now the last example is if customer is giving you um let's say he's saying test file 1 i want to delete or test file 2 i want to delete right uh, so if that is the case how would you do that so let me paste it all the files into source and destination is current i will make it blank <coughs> and all the files are in the source okay so if customer is saying a particular file how will you do that so i want you to you know pause the video for a second and think how will you um, you know get that so i have already done it i will show you that but again you think how will you do it if you want to have to so there has to be a pattern matching right you have to pat match the pattern of what customer has used uh, asked you to move Uh, that file name you have to match it and then do it so how will you do it so pause the video for some time and then you can come back okay so i'll i'll get back as to what the solution looks like okay so here i'm not going to um, create from the beginning but you will be able to understand this is what you have to do okay so first is i am asking the customer enter the file name okay and the moment he enters the file name i am storing in a variable called file name all right now file path variable will know in the previous example we have done that so file path will know which is the source file so this remembers there it has to go 
okay and here i have created a, another variable called user file path which is a string variable and this one what it will do i am combining the file path of the directory and then saying the file name so if he's saying uh, file uh, test file 1 test file 2 whatever is typing that gets stored in file name from the input dialog and that will get added here and the entire value will appear in the user file path okay so to show you i have kept a message box which will take a take the entire path okay then it's quite simple right after that for each loop you are running with file path and that is going to um, you know uh, you know show you all the items one by one so i have kept a message box for you to see all the files one by one and wherever the item equals to user file path right whatever the user has given if it matches that is where it is going to move the file okay so let me run it and you'll be able to understand this entire workflow i think you have already understood but let me run it and show you okay so here i am entering test file 1 dot and remember i have to enter you know i have to entirely mention that because there are multiple different kinds of files xls and then pdf and word document right i have to put the entire file name okay full path full name okay so once i do that I showed you a message box, right? The message box is exactly appearing from this one. User file path, okay? User file path. So it is taking out the entire path. Now, once you have this, it is easy to delete it, isn't it? Or, or sorry, move it, okay? And then it is going to the for each. So in the for each, what's happening? It's accessing the one by one. It is accessing all the files, okay? So this one is showing. The item value is currently this one, okay? If the item equals to user file path, if both of them are matching, then you move it. So that's what the all the condition is then it is going to the second file so it will not run the if condition here then is moving to the third file and then saying requested file has been moved now if you go back to the source you can see the test file one has already moved wonderful so we have done this right so now if you go to destination you can see the test file one has come okay very simple logic i think you would have already guessed thank you so much guys for joining please do not forget to hit on the like button thank you have a wonderful day